Hello and welcome everybody. Happy daylight or whatever time tone you're in. That was actually kind of loud in my ear. Uh, so, let's see here if I can avoid that honk. Um, figure out what my key commands are now. I am going to try to do this in one go. Honk does not work, but maybe I should... Um... For the desktop audio. <clears throat> I'll turn that down just a little bit, but we're not going to be able to tell until. We actually get into some portion of the game that has. All right, honk should be working now. Yeah, until something important happens. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Well, action three, so it's F6 is due. Wait, maybe, do I have a function lock on this thing? So how's everybody been? I know I haven't been, I've been fairly absent. As of late. Damn goose, get out of my frickin' way. <laughs> How's the sound on the game now? Um, We've turned it down a little bit. The other thing is that I just watched this this morning. Having coffee? Sounds good. I'm just having straight on Maxwell House. I do miss the taste of that Vietnamese coffee. <laughs> sponsored, not sponsored. <laughs> Can't do anything here. Probably because I'm not close enough because I'm trying to avoid that damn goose. All right, this is actually one of the many games that I started out with. Um, fucking goat. Now it's not going to look. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Am I ever going to be able to get away from this pin? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I mean, can everybody see me okay? Or do I need to adjust the...
Mm-hmm. I thought it was a carrot. I did not know that, but then again, I also know that you start losing points if you kill things. This is by no means going to be a speed run, but... Um, going to attempt my best to just... Uh, get to where I need to go and not have to deal with much BS in this game. I thought this was very unique and I actually like how they did this um, with the fact that you don't actually have a text parser. It's mostly just uh, function commands. I should probably stay close to the edge of the screen. You know, just in case. Kind of like the whole King's Quest thing. Was you got a random number generator that pretty much wants to kill you all the time. Speaking of wanting to kill me all the time. <clears throat> Space Quest 4. <laughs> I... Mm. I wish that I actually had a clip of that uh, from, I think it was from the uh, 2020 Sierra Christmas Marathon, where it was just pretty much bad luck all around. After, you know, a certain point. All right, so we made it to the little area safely. The last time I played this game, yes, I actually lost 10 win. Yes, that was the thing. And there should be a clip of it somewhere on Twitch. Yeah. Let's just call it word. <laughs> Awesome. Let's grab some cookies. All right, now that we don't actually have to worry about the Gwathanes, at uh, this time anyway, now we are free to explore the area around. Wait a minute, do I have an apple? Yes. And we should be running into Gurgi any minute now. Before I even approach that waterfall, I'm going to save my game. Yep. That's what I preach whenever I play these Sierra games all the time. Uh. 
<clears throat> yes, actually, you are very right. Since the first time I ever played it was when I was a kid. I don't remember what system it was on, though. I want to say it was on the 1000, the Tandy 1000 SX. There is actually a dagger in this game. And it's off to the left. Has the stream calmed down a little since it turned off the background? Smooth. Okay. Should be able to swim across this. I feel like there's something else that I'm missing here. Well, I know I need to go and talk to King Eddie Leg. Uh, shoot. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh, shoot. <clears throat> okay, so how do I drink it? Whoops. Let's see. Water. Okay. Uh, I think this was also one of the first games that actually made you, or actually forced you to have to eat and drink in order to stay alive as well. I could be wrong about that, though. Ah, right. We're looking for the cauldron. <clears throat> well, I need to find Gurgi because he's going to be, well, he's not really a very important character in this version of the whatever adaptation you want because he actually plays a bigger role in the movie than he does actually in this game. I keep going in circles. Normally I'd have a second screen set up and, you know, have a map or something and I can't do that right now. <clears throat> it's pretty bad when I'm not going to be able to find what I need because I don't remember where anything is. There it is. All right.
Sound balance good too. <laughs> Just remember that a lot of those do not work at this point. Nope. I can fix that real quick, though. Whoops. All right. Um... What? Okay. <laughs> Be a hero. I mean, I mean, this is... No, I'm not going to say that. So, no, it is definitely not Spielberg. Which is a land I would love to go back to at some point in time. I know that I finished, um, oh, fudge. What was I supposed to do here? <laughs> Am I supposed to play the loot? Am I supposed to give him something? I thought that the loot went to Flute or Flam. Now, y'all know I've played this multiple times. I mean, the last time I played this, we nearly got eaten by an alligator. I think uh, Heron... <sighs> Can't remember. What am I supposed to, what am I doing? What, what, what? Okay, so what exactly am I supposed to offer him? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Okay, so I am supposed to use a loot on him. I was right. <clears throat> well, I mean, we already know where it is. But before we can actually go there, I need to stop off at the castle and grab something else. And maybe save Looter. Maybe. There you go, Steven. Hydrate redeemed. All right, I guess I have to actually fly out of here. <laughs> Question is, do I want to go in the easy way or do I want to go in the hard way? <laughs> Seriously? Where in the hell is Gurgi, by the way? He should have already appeared by now, so I can give him the apple. Speak of the devil. Come here. Hey, Tiffy. Welcome in. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm at an odd schedule today, Tiffy. I'm actually on vacation uh, back in the Midwest. Huh? Have I been on a while working? Oh, no. I'm actually on vacation right now. I'm back home, uh, back in Indiana, visiting friends and family. I'm doing all right. Um, kind of being alert, kind of just, kind, you know, <laughs> words are not coming to me right now. Sorry. Oh, I don't want to be here just yet. I need that dagger. Oh, you're working. I'm sorry. I read that wrong. That was my fault. <clears throat> with a curved rock in the swamp. Yeah, I think I thought that too, but it didn't turn out to be that, did it? No. Yeah. Well... Getting rest and relaxation, yes, but it hasn't been all sunshine and roses. 
Unfortunately. Why am I not walking? Did I go in the wrong? All right, this is Space Quest 3 all over again right here. Actually, I wonder if they didn't just use some of these. Yeah. I wonder if they just didn't reuse some of these rocks in Space Quest 3 because this looks an awful lot like Pestulon. Or not Pestulon, but Ortega. Okay, let me get that rope ready. And it does matter which side of the rock you're standing on. Hmm. No, but there, there's, <clears throat> there's always a possibility that they could have been there, just you know, in the background. Either that, or they evolved to be uh, sand snakes. Yes, in hiding. Oh wait, sand snakes. That was a uh, that was a uh, flea butt. <clears throat> oh goody. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and save the game here. Oop, not there. Shall we try to tempt fate once again? You know what? You ain't living unless you're actually a challenger of shit. <laughs> yes um sierra games were what most of us actually grew up on and i am shit I do not have a good angle of attack on this thing right now. There we go. Yes, actually, I had a lot of these games on the five and a half inch. But I also... Fuck. Ouch. <laughs> well, that was a first in a long while of getting that happening. 
My throat is dry. Yeah, yeah, I know. Dagger. Alright, so I'm gonna sneak past these fuckers. I did make one happy crocodile very happy, didn't I? It won't happen again. Hmm. Arcade sequences in Sierra games too. Famous last words. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Wow. All right, now that I'm actually in a new area, and this time I, I actually figured out what I did wrong the last time is that I didn't have the dagger equipped. <clears throat> which will, which uh, did actually lead to the epic um, run away from the alligator munching my ass. <laughs> uh, that was funny. That was good. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I remember the henchmen in the movie, and they did not look like Ken Williams. Don't worry, these guys. It's Steve. I always thought that these guys, the henchmen in the game, were supposed to be some kind of a make fun of uh, Ken Williams. They all look like him. I really do think so. <clears throat> Mother shit, that scared me. If you had lost Henwin to the Gwathaint, then this is where you would find her again. But then again, in the movie, in the game, are completely different outcomes. You get more points for actually saving. <laughs> right. Ah, right. Uh, I can't. It, yeah, it's right about in um, here. No, I'm starving. Food wallet. All right, let's go and see if we can find Pluter. I believe that it was in between one of the two casks that there was an ex there was a secret entrance. 
into the dungeon. <clears throat> There's also one in this area, too. Of course. Oh, goody. Oh, fuck me. No shit, right? <laughs> At least I'm safe, safe on the stairs. So I guess I gotta go back to the wine cellar. Um, just, we'll take a look around and. Well, I mean, we saw it. Oh, but there it is. And she magically just pops right on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Let's just take a look around and down here. I know where I need to go. <laughs> right? Well, at least I know how to get up from down here is, um, there's a ladder back in that other room. The old good king's burial chamber, which we actually do need that uh, sword in order to destroy, uh, to get the cauldron. Um, yeah, it's like you guys have been saying, there's multiple ways of doing these puzzles. There's also three different ways to end the game. There's the self-sacrificial one. There is the, well, there are two self-sacrificial ones and there's the movie ending and then there's the good game ending. No, not all of them are winning, but at least you put a stop to the Great Horn King in at least all of them. Even if You don't survive all of them. Well, shit. All 
All right, we didn't backtrack too far. <laughs> Can't run. No, they really didn't cut corners, ever. This is very true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doing. <laughs> she doesn't go boing, she goes twang. Sierra games force you to be explorative. Follow the rules and everything else. Let's not talk about what. Hmm. I need to explore that game a little more. Found it quite interesting. But obviously, I'm not going to be able to do it on this laptop. Barely plays Final Fantasy. <clears throat> Spoilers, I still haven't played that to the end. I have no idea. We're going to have to figure that out, I guess, at some point. That's actually surprising, Stephen. I think the first one I ever completed was um, not The Legend of Zelda, say that least. I think my first one is actually Diablo. It's a swing and a miss.
Now I'm going to start saving more because I'm actually making progress. Oh, cool. That I did not know. Can I not open the door? Better arm the sword. Shit, shit, move. Thank you. Keys. I need to get the entire Chronicles for Dane. Because the one that I have that is actually called the Black Cauldron barely mentioned the Black Cauldron. It wasn't even anything like the movie. So. All right, save Fluter and kick out this grate. Now we've got to make our way out of here and go to see the witches. And now I can breathe, maybe. Well, at least I don't have to worry about henchmen popping up out of nowhere all the time. Speaking of coffee... <laughs> What? Oh, thank you so much. It's okay. Um, not exactly in the castle anymore, but you know, still with any Sierra game, it's always a good idea to save, save, save.
Oh, well, I'll give you another opportunity. I'm going to go uh, mess around with those goats a little more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know me well, you too well. Save game. All right. Um hmm. Can't remember. Hold up a minute. Am I... Forgive me, I'm reading. Okay, so I do want to go to the swamp now. Okay, so it's pretty much sword from here on out. Uh, with the exception of getting over... Sword. And ah. They have a thousand cauldrons, but none of them are the black ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, yeah. Well, 
Whoops. Run. Did I just... No. Grr. Did anybody actually see what happened there? Did anybody seriously see just just see what happened there? I saved over after I've already died. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm boron now. All right, so when it comes to those cauldrons, save scum responsibly. Yes. Unfortunately, I did not do that. I saved scum irresponsibly. <laughs> All right, at least we got another, another. <clears throat> I forgot one crucial step. All right, so right about here is where one ending of the game. <clears throat> this is one ending. It even tells you you can make different decisions. Almost. That's the thing. I came into this not knowing what I was doing. 
Cool. All right, save the game. And now we need to head back to the castle. Wait a minute, I did say I would do that whole um, Go and mess with that goat. Wait, the game comes played it? <coughs> How did I not know this? But then again, I have this. Never mind. I know Danny uh, played a lot of the Space Quest series. Honk. Yeah, Danny, I figured he was an old Sierra classic and game gamer. There we go. All right, VGA, get your clipping ready. I'm going to stay silent until this ends. <laughs> Where did that goat go? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch Phantasmagoria again. The one time I did, played it with uh, Feral, that was enough for me. And there you go. Now it's off back to the castle. Yeah, yeah, I know. My throat is always dry. But now I'm out of water. I was wondering when that was going to happen. When we get back to the castle, I'm going to actually point something else out because there's one of two outcomes. You've made friends with Gurgi already by this point. If you haven't, then the, essentially what happened whenever you first get the cauldron when you jump in, that's what happens at the castle. But if you make friends with Gurgi, then you get the movie ending as one other possible ending. Yeah, well, I'm always either hungry or... The thing about it is that whenever you're a kid, you don't really pay attention to the fact that there are multiple endings to a game. You just want to, you know, get into it and muck about for a bit and hope that you're doing the things right. And if you do get a good ending, you get a good ending. Which you don't have to worry about getting any more endings because, you know, the game's over. Go back and restart and then you can start exploring again. At least that's how it was with Space Quest for me. You can actually die here. <clears throat> In multiple ways. Alright. 
I better save. Because knowing my luck, I'll probably fail right at the very end. There it is. I'll wait to add any sound commands until I get back to home and uh, right next to my actual streaming rig. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. Mm hmm. Absolutely. All right, now that we've taken care of, sorry, I've been getting weird migraines lately. We don't have the magic sword anymore. But at least we know two ways that we can get in. One would be the best of the game endings, which is to go through there. The other one is actually to the dungeon. Why didn't the sound come on with that? Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> <clears throat> At least the stairs in this game are a little let more, at least a little less dangerous than their King's Quest IV counterparts. All right, I'm going to save the game here. And this would be the second ending. Which is the movie ending. Yes. The seventies and eighties both. I would like to point out, hold on tight, and then he flails down the waterfall, and then the magically grabs another piece of wood. <laughs> yep.
Nope. We don't want that. Whether believe it or not, we actually don't even want the magic sword at this point. <laughs> yes. But we're not done yet. Far from it. And now we're going to go. Thank you, Stephen. Now it is time to go back and do this the game's way. Where nobody has to sacrifice themselves with the exception of the one bad guy. Now, watch the animation here. It said, hold on tight, Taryn. Now watch the animation. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. <laughs> yes, Stephen, yes. We don't want anything except the magic sword. <laughs> oh god <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, in all configurations of being, is the Black Cauldron. 100% 
all three endings. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for so much for being here. <laughs> but that is it. Uh, that is that is the Black Cauldron. All three endings. It's been fun. It has been fun. Now, this is, may or may not be the last time you see me while I'm here on vacation, but you will see me again when I'm back home. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, and all configurations being, thank you so much for being here. Gloomy, welcome in right at the end. Any idea who we can raid? Uh. And there was your hydrate. Here's another one just for good measure. Almost well, mainly because my cup's almost empty. Mm. So We've got <clears throat> Game Mistress. So we've got uh, Free Needles, Icky Foo, Mal Kitty. Ooh, we haven't done, we haven't been able to raid Mal Kitty in a while. So let's go there. All right. So once again, everybody, thank you so much for being here. It's been a blast. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.